guys, this is Russ and Fish on Hodgson from Southern Oregon Metalheads here to talk to you about one of my favorite techniques to winter steelhead fish and that's side drifting from the bank. Uh, if you're a new angler or you're touching water that you've never touched before, uh, the first thing I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for how much lead I need to use. Uh, I like to start off with quarter ounce lead on my tagline, uh, about a quarter inch, maybe a half an inch. And uh, just start casting above yourself about one o'clock, two o'clock. Start to learn the drift a little bit with maybe a corky or yarn ball, whatever, whatever preference you like to use. Uh, and uh, you know, get a feel for the bottom. You want to be bouncing gradually, bounce, 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 bounce. You don't want to be dragging on the bottom. And you don't definitely don't want to be floating around out there, not touching the bottom at all. Because if you're not touching the bottom, or if you're dragging, you're not fishing. Uh, and then once you learn that drift, either you take away lead or add lead, whatever you know. Once you find that drift, that that median, that bounce, 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 bounce. You definitely want to be bouncing, but you don't want to be dragging. Uh, then you know you can switch up bait, whatever you like. Uh, whether it's if you're a straight cork guy, straight yarn ball guy. If you're a straight eggs guy, uh, I like to use pretty much all of the above. Uh, don't be uh, don't be scared to uh, use something that you not you know you're not familiar with. You know whether it's if you're a yarn ball guy and eggs guy and you don't have any faith in corkies, don't be afraid to put on a corky if you're not getting any bites in the strike zone. Uh, you know it's sometimes it's just that little difference of your drifting. The fish could be sitting there, but they're just not wanting your bait. Uh, you change up colors, change up size differences. Uh, you know, go from a small corky to a big corky. I like to fish smaller corkies and smaller yarn balls and smaller baits eggs when I, uh, the water's a lot clearer. Uh, if the water's brown, maybe use a little bit bigger eggs, you know, maybe use some scents. Uh, change up your, change up your leader length, you know, if you like 16 inches length. Some people like 30 inches of length, you know, depending on what river you're on, you gotta follow the rules, guys. Uh, and then after that, you know, uh, you know, start, start changing up your cast a little bit. Cast a little farther, cast a little shorter, cast medium. I like to fish a slot, five to six casts a slot. You know, same spot, same cast step. You know, if I'm getting a good drift, fish that spot, five to six casts. And if you're not getting anything, if you're not, you know, you're not getting hung up, then maybe change up a little bit. Move in a foot or two, you know, move in a, oh, maybe cast a little higher, maybe cast a little low, depending on how fast the water's moving and how, where the snags are. Uh, and then, uh, that's pretty much all I really got for you guys right now. Uh, other than that, you know, I hope to see you down the river, uh, tight lines, screaming reels, and chasing chrome. If you have any questions for JDM, myself, Jason, or John, uh, get a hold of us on southernorganmetalheads.com or like us on Facebook. But other than that, I hope to see you guys down the river and fish on.